Thank you for watching this video. Today we will be doing technical analysis on the S&P 500 for Monday, November 2nd, 2020. And for this analysis, we will be using StockCharts.com. That is the charting service that I use and pay for. And I will leave a link to their site in the description box below this video. My name is Rodney Constable. I am the president and founder of Simple Market Signals at SimpleMarketSignals.com. Today we were up 1.23% on the S&P 500 and we closed at 3310.24. The first chart that we're going to look at is a one day, one minute chart of the S&P 500. So this is just today's trading. We peaked just after 1015 and started to sell off and we hit our lows of the day just before 2 p.m. in the afternoon had a little bit of a rally into the close and again closed at 3310.24 up 1.23 percent for the day the next chart that we're going to look at is a 10 day 10 minute chart of the s p 500 and i have this annotated with a couple of support and resistance areas that we've been dealing with for a while any of you that have watched my videos of the last few weeks know that 3420 was a very important support level and you can see here that a couple of weeks ago that was holding up and of course on the 26th we broke beneath this 3420 area and then on the 28th we fell beneath the 3330 area and we've been trapped underneath this 3330 area since then. Now we had a few minutes where we traded above 3330 on the 29th, but you can see that we got rejected there. And uh, we've traded as low as right, right around this 3240 area on these 10 minute candles uh, on the 30th on Friday. Uh, obviously today jumped up and you can see how important this 3330 area is. We hit our head, so to speak right on that 3330 area and then got rejected and we can really see how important this 3330 support and resistance level has been when we look at the one year daily chart of the s p 500 so this blue line here the one in the middle is the 3330 line the one on the lower end is 3210 which by the way is going to be a very important support level if we sell off over the next few days we do want to see the uh, the S and P 500, the market stay above 32.10 and uh, 34.20 is uh, this line here, and of course that's the one we just talked about that's right here. So the middle line 33.30 acted as overhead resistance at the first part of the year, and then acted as an area of support really starting in August once we got back above it, and you can see that most of the trading on the S and P 500 from the beginning of August was above this 3330 area and it was only the last few days that uh, we again sold off and got back beneath 3330 so in order for the market to advance we're going to need to see closes above 3330 of course both on the hourly chart and then of course more importantly on the daily chart so as long as we can't get above the 3330 area and we're stuck beneath it the market of course is being suppressed but if we start to close, especially on a daily basis, back above 3330, we know that the market is at least trying to resume its upward trend. Conversely, though, as I just mentioned a few seconds ago, if we start to close beneath this area, 3210, we know that the market is starting to weaken. And uh, of course, you know, the daily closes are much more important than the hourly closes. But um, if we can start to see some movement one way or the other, even on the hourlies, right, we know that the market is at least trying. But uh, the daily closing candles are what is really important when we're looking at uh, support and resistance areas. So for right now, we're kind of sandwiched in between this 3210 and 3330 area. And whichever way we break out over the next few days or few weeks will tell us what direction the market is going, at least in the short term.